Chris, the Idaho Painter. In this video, we're going to show you how we go about painting the interior of a new construction home. And this home has been recently built, or you can consider this a remodel. But either way, it's got new drywall in it or wallboard, and we're going to go about painting it. And we're going to show you this multi step process of what it takes to paint these walls. And in this first step, we're actually mopping the walls and preparing them to get ready to be painted. And this is a new construction job, little noise in the background. Hopefully you don't mind all the noise going on and it doesn't interrupt the teaching, but stay tuned and we're gonna show you this process. So here we go. And this is the first step of my multi-step series and this is mopping the walls. So some of you may have never even heard of what the term mopping the walls is, but we got a situation where this is a uh, brand new installed drywall and it's been textured and it's got a texture on it called Sun Valley Texture and to achieve this texture there's a lot of sanding and in that sanding process there's a lot of dust drywall or mud dust that's left on these walls and if you were to try to paint these walls without priming them and mopping them the paint wouldn't adhere properly and it would actually peel off the walls so the first step is actually cleaning all that that loose dust off and you can see if I just wipe this wall my hands got a lot of drywall dust on it that's got to be removed and before you actually prime it and so we do a process we call mopping it and we're just taking actual a dry mop and we'll be mopping these walls and then blowing them off with what we just use a weed blower and so you're going to see that process of me mopping the walls and either my helper John blowing it. Either way, one of us is going to be mopping, one's going to be blowing. You can also use a broom to mop your walls and that's just brooming it down with a broom and that's knocking all that loose drywall dust off first. So you're going to mop these walls and then blow them off and then we're going to prime them with a PVA primer. This step, if you've got a uh, texture on there like an orange peel texture that hasn't been sanded, the mopping doesn't have to be done. It's only where you've got sanded smooth walls, something that's been sanded or pole sanded prior to uh, the um, painting process. So textured walls, uh, the orange peel texture don't need to be mopped. Anything smooth Sun Valley texture does need to be mopped. So just you want to just wipe the walls, look on it. If you've got a lot of this drywall dust on your hands, they've got to be mopped. So here we go. We're going to show you how we mop the walls. So I'm going to get ready to do this mopping process, and this is a pretty dusty process. So one thing you're going to have is a respirator, and I also don't like to get all that dust all of my clothes. So we use what we call a monkey suit. I'm going to put a monkey suit on, and then I'm going to put also a spray sock on too, because I don't want that dust all over my head. And then I'm going to begin doing this mopping process. And I'm just going to be using this dry mop right here, this floor mop. And I'm just going to be taking this mop and just mopping it up and down the walls just in a motion like this, just to knock all this loose dust off right here. And so I'll be mopping these walls and then John will be going right behind me and blowing it off. And once again, you definitely want to have some, it's one thing that uh, you definitely want to have is a respirator. You don't have to have all the other clothing to protect you from all the dust. It's just, I don't like getting all the dust on my clothes and everything, but the respirator is pretty important. The respirator I use, Right here, this 3M respirator, you, uh, that's one of them that just helps protect you from breathing all that dust. So this new construction process, in general, is an extremely dirty, messy job. So I'm gonna begin getting ready by putting on my overalls, uh, uh, dirty clothes when it comes to, I'm gonna put on, get rid of my clean hat and my clean shoes and everything because this is a messy job. So here we go, I'm gonna be getting ready here and change it out to um, some dirty paint clothes. So we get, here's my overalls right here, just gonna be thrown on. These are just throwaway overalls. Just use them for the day and then I'm gonna chuck them. Gonna be taking a spray sock right here, put on a spray sock and could be changed out my hat, my shoes, everything. This is a spray sock you wear, just another throwaway item. All these items that I'm using uh, in this mopping process and my new construction process can be purchased on my uh, Amazon tool store. You can click on my tool store logo right here and it'll take you right to my tool store where you can purchase any of my items. So here I go, I'm gonna get ready right now. Just putting on my dirty shoes first and then I'm gonna be putting on these coveralls and I actually buy super large ones, extra large coveralls. That way I can just 
fit into them easily with my shoes on and my clothes on. Just throw these coveralls on right here. And then when I'm all done, at the end of the day, I just rip the coveralls off and I'm all clean. So there's my coveralls. Now for my spray sock, get rid of my nice clean hat and put on my spray sock because they don't like anything on my head. And I can either just wear my hat now along with my spray sock and I'm good to go. I got my respirator I'm going to be putting on and now we're going to start this mopping process right now. So here we go. So here I go, I'm going to start mopping these walls and then I'm going to mop this room and then John's going to come through and blow it off with the blower and we'll show you that but I'm going to start this mopping process right now. Now the ceilings up here haven't been sanded, so we don't need to worry about mopping the ceilings. So now I got the mopping all done, and that's just a dry mopping process. It's not using a wet mop, it's a dry mop. So we dry mopped it all, got all that loose dust off the bulk of it, and now we're just gonna blow it with a blower, and then begin the priming process. So here we go with the blower, typical just weed blower that we just blow it off with. So here we go, just got my weed blower ready to go. I'm going to start it up and we're going to get blown away. Opened all the windows, that way the dust can just blow out these windows and get the bulk of this um, mud dust out of here. So now we have the mopping process and cleaning of these walls all done now. And now we're going to start the process of priming these walls with a PVA primer. So we're going to begin masking and priming. So stay tuned for this video. You can click on my next video of this series in this video number two right here. And that will take you to the priming and masking process. Here